So this is the garden I dug and turned over the other day and we're growing broad beans and kale and this is the one I'm turning over today I'm halfway through it I've just dug up a few potatoes so do something with them later maybe make a, um, a potato hash or something here we go there's loads in here look at this oh that's a big one look at that there's another one down here as well oh I can have a good yield of potatoes I think Okay guys, so we've got a special potato here, these special Maori potatoes and I'll show you what's so special about them. They come from the uh, ground there, that's not special about them, but what is special about them is that they're purple. Look at that. They look like some good eating right there. Yeah, they call them dog turds. The Maoris call them dog turds. Here's some good looking spuds here guys, look at these. I've just dug these out of the garden. They look fantastic, don't they? Look, there's a sweet potato there, or a kumara, as they're known over in uh, New Zealand. Um, this one, I think, is called a pink fur. And uh, I've got an urinika here as well, uh, also known as a Maori dog, dog turd, according to John. Um, and I've got a tiny little new potato here. And I just love the fact that I can just come to the garden, dig these out, and then basically have dinner later out of all this lot it's fantastic i'm going to cook these purple ones up later because i'm really interested to try them turn them into some sort of potato hash i think um and yeah i mean it's just amazing it just goes to show you you can go and dig in your garden and have completely organic potatoes without all this chemically enhanced bullshit that you can get from the supermarkets and all these big brand companies you know you can just do it yourself, it's amazing. We don't need these losers selling us all this cancer-ridden filth. You know, we can just go to our garden, dig stuff out, all we need to do is plant it. Look at that, almost two bucket loads. Isn't that marvellous? There are the purple ones there, which I'm gonna cook. So for this recipe, we need an egg. Um, so I'm just gonna go to the chicken hutch doesn't get more free range than this. Christine's got three birds and this is their hutch here. So let's have a look, let's see if we're in luck. Ah, brilliant, there's two. Look at that, free range eggs. So here I am with the purple Urinika potatoes I've just dug up. They've been out of the ground for about an hour or an hour and a half. So they're going straight. I'm going to grate them up and then they're going straight in the frying pan. Look at that. That's a fantastic colour, isn't it? So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my grated purple potatoes. I'm just going to tip them in to this sieve. And once I've got all the potatoes out of the bowl, into the sieve, it's going on the top. And just what I want to do, basically, is just push all the liquid out of the potatoes, all the moisture, push all the moisture out of them into the bowl. And this is very important if you want your hash brown to be crispy. So there you go, once you've squeezed all the moisture out of your potatoes, even if it's just a tiny little bit, every little bit helps makes the potatoes crispier for later. This phase you want to pour your potatoes into your bowl. You want to add a pinch of salt. I'm just using rock salt, pink Himalayan rock salt. A couple of pinches and a couple of pinches of cinnamon. and one free range egg from the garden, from the chickens. And I'm just gonna mix that up with a fork. Just gonna mix that mixture together. Now you just wanna heat a large pan with some oil. I'm using coconut oil, but you can use olive oil or 
canola oil or whatever you want, but I use coconut oil because it's the healthiest option. I'm just going to tip my mix in and then I'm just going to spread it around and evenly spread it to the edges. So I want it all evenly spaced right up to the edges. Now when you've got your hash brown nice and even, you just want to let it sit there on a low heat for 10 to 15 minutes. Now here we go, here's the fun bit. Here's where it all could go wrong. I'm going to take hash brown off the heat. I'm going to get a plate, turn it upside down, put it across the top of the frying pan, and in one swift motion, I'm going to flip it. Ooh, pray, pray, pray. Yes, look at that. And that's one side of your hash brown da done. Now what you want to basically do next is just pop him back in the pan. Then you want to add just a little bit more coconut oil just around the edges of the pan. Just so the other side can get cooked. So it's 10 to 15 minutes depending on what kind of a cooker you've got. I'm using gas for this and it's on a low heat and um, on the on this side, on this where it's golden brown here, I left it for 12 minutes and I'm just going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to leave it for 12 minutes, just leave it in the pan uh, with a little bit of coconut oil I put around the edge and I'm just going to let it sit there. So it's been 12 minutes again now. So I'm going to take the hash brown off the heat, plate goes back on top of the frying pan, pray to your god, whoever that may be, flip it, oh yes, look at that, that is perfect. So there we go guys, a delicious, easy to make recipe out of purple potatoes, a purple potato hash, New Zealand style, you can also add um, garlic or onion or whatever you fancy really. You don't even have to put an egg in it if you're a vegan. The potato natural starch in there will just stick it together. But it's crispy, it's delicious, and most importantly of all, it's organic. Up yours, Monsanto. Potato! <laughs> <laughs> that was my impression of a potato, by the way. <laughs> Uh, so guys, yeah, um, free potato recipes, I know, it's brilliant, isn't it, just for you, organic recipes, for free, I know, it's crazy, um, <laughs> so, if, if you like what I do, if you like what I do here, um, it'd be, I'd be really, really super grateful if you could tell people about my channel, because that would really help me out, and, uh, share it on, some sort of social media platform that'll be good uh, on your facebook or twitter account um and give me a thumbs up or two i never say no to a thumbs up me hey hey <laughs> so um yeah that's all i've got for you guys today uh thanks for watching as always and see you on the flip side take it easy and uh don't be sneezy